The iPhone SE 2 is Apple's new like controversial phone, right? Currently, it's a very budget phone with a very high-end processor inside of it. It's like a little conundrum wrapped up in an even smaller phone body. But what are the best accessories? What are my favorite accessories for this powerful little device? Let's find out. And while we're finding out, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. So I love this little phone. I actually, I don't really consider this a phone so much because I use the iPhone 11, but I consider this to be an incredibly, as you saw just a couple days ago, I consider this to be an incredibly powerful computer and a camera wrapped up into one. And it just so happens to connect to an LTE network and can do phones and messages. But let's, that's boring stuff. Let's talk about the accessories because I love kidding out these little phones. I love the accessories. So the first accessory we're gonna talk about is already on here. We're gonna have to take it off. It's the Apple. It's like the official Apple case for the iPhone. Now you may say to yourself, Gary, everyday dad, what is a little piece of plastic? How is that going to protect my phone? And look, I get it. I totally get the skepticism on here because I thought the same thing with these little devices. However, look, this is my iPhone 11. I take this thing with me everywhere. And the only case I use on it is the exact same. It's the same rubber Apple case. And I drop my phone. I take this thing with me running three times a week. As I'm done running, I'm like walking back. I drop it all of the time. And it has never scratched. You see this? There's not a single scratch in the screen. There's no chips out of it. This phone is pristine. The case is kind of bumped up and it's gotten chunks taken out of it, but these cases are legit. This has fallen on in the last month. This phone has fallen on asphalt six times, no problem. So that's why this case is insane value. I highly recommend it. Now I got the white phone, so I got the white case because I think this white is, I think it looks great. Normally I'm a red, I'm a product red person. I love how this SE in white looks. So the first accessory, get one of these cases. They are, it's almost like nothing. It weighs nothing. It doesn't feel that different. Like I hate bulky cases. This case is not bulky. It protects it. It feels great. It stops it from like, one of the problems with glass backs that I have is that sometimes they're a little too slick. I really like this case, highly recommend it. So the rest of the accessories I have are in this little pouch. There is some bleed over from the iPad accessory video we did a couple of weeks ago. And I personally use these all of the time with my phone. Since I'm an Apple user, it works out pretty well because they all work together. Before we open this up though, I do want to say so, sometimes I've started playing a lot more video games on my phone, but one thing I hate about gaming on phones or even iPads is I hate using touch controls. I hate using controls like this. I have this little Steel Series Nimbus and I use this. It pairs really easily to the phone through Bluetooth. You connect it and you can easily play games. And it's just nice to have tactile buttons. Like, look at that playing some Sonic the Hedgehog that I haven't played since I was a kid on my Sega Genesis. But look, the buttons work great. It pairs super fast. And I just, I love having a controller. I'll never go controllerless if I can't help it because I just hate, I hate touchscreens. I hate touchscreens for video gaming. And I don't have time for gaming very much anymore. So it's in the time that I have, it's very important for me to get the best experience. The only thing I don't like about this controller and I talked about it in the iPad video is it's lightning. So this looks like USB-C. But don't be fooled, this is not USB-C, this is lightning. So you have to use, it's not as big of a deal here because the iPhone SE gets charged through lightning so you'll already have a lightning cable with you, but it just kind of stinks. Don't look at this, this is the battery case for the iPhone 11 that I have, does not work. Currently there is no Apple battery case for the SE2. Maybe they'll fix it, I don't know. So let's get to the rest of the accessories. And this case again, I carry all of my like travel creation accessories in this little blue case from a company called Native Union. I bought this on the Apple store. I can never ever remember um, how much I paid for this, but I'm a really big fan of this because it holds all of the stuff that I need really easily. So the first thing you do have to work around with if you want to use this for more than just taking calls and sending text messages are you will need some dongles. There is no SD card slot. If you want to import photos, you just want to move data around and you want to use SD cards for it. You will need a dongle. You could use a really cheap one like this um, that has like USB lightning for charging. It has SD and micro SD and these ones are fine, but I always, I don't know. The older I get and the more I use like these cheap dongles, I always get afraid that they're gonna mess up my phone somehow. I've never had that problem happen, but I always get nervous. So I end up spending the extra money and feeling like an idiot for doing it. But I buy the traditional Apple dongles. This is the Apple SD card to lightning that I use for basically everything. Anytime I take footage onto or off of, I'm not a big fan. You could also get an app like Google storage or the Apple cloud. I'm not a big fan of using cloud storage. I like having my own physical media 
uh, to transfer. And I also use, as you saw in the editing video, um, I like sending this out to HDMI to a monitor if I need a little more space. This is the lightning to HDMI from Apple. It also, one of the nice things about this is it does have lightning in, so you can power the phone and send out to a monitor at the same time, which is why I called this a computer. And for $400, I cannot get over how fast this thing is. You will need some dongles if you're gonna do more than just talk on the phone. What's up next? So if you are gonna use this as like an all-in-one like travel computer package, you're gonna need a little more storage than what comes on this. I got the 64 gigabyte because that's normally what I get on my phones. Even this is a 64 gigabyte. So I always carry around a solid state drive. This does work with my iPads, but I also use it with a phone if I wanna transfer. You will need a specialized cable, like you would need to use something that has USB-A because this is USB-C. There are lightning drives out there that you could get if you only want lightning. I'm not a big fan of lightning. This is a Samsung T5 500 gigabyte solid state drive. I consider this like a life essential. Like forget the phone for a second. This is a life essential accessory. These things are super fast, very durable, can store an awful lot of footage and fit almost anywhere. You, this is a life hack. Welcome to the Everyday Dad is giving you life hack advice, Samsung T5. So if you are like Everyday Dad, I don't actually want to use a dongle. I just want my SD cards to pair to the phone. I don't want to plug something in. You can use something like this RAV Power File Hub, um, but this is basically like a wireless hub. So did I bring my SD card? I did not bring an SD card. But anyway, you can plug an SD card in here, turn this on, and this turns into like a portable, like network attached storage where it sends out a Wi-Fi signal you can connect your phone to that through an app, and then you can transfer data to and from your SD card over Wi-Fi. It does take a little longer, but it's very useful if you don't wanna bring a whole bunch of dongles along with you. And as a bonus, it's actually like a backup battery. So this has USB out, so this can act as a battery, and it can actually plug straight into things through Ethernet if you wanna do a more directly attached storage. Obviously, you're not gonna use that on the phone, but it's a neat little trick that this thing has. I take this with me everywhere because you're always going to need battery and you're always going to need storage this does both we're going to talk about another battery here in just a second speaking of batteries wow it's why it's crazy that we came up with that i always have a battery with me no matter where i go because i'm always on the phone i'm always on twitter i'm always recording some kind of video so this is just the one that i bring with me there are thousands out there you could get a strictly lightning one you could get USB-C ones i just recommend that you have some kind of a battery this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery from lenovo i take this with me everywhere. It has two USB ports. Yes, they are USB-A because if it works and I have the cables, why upgrade? You should save your money sometimes. That's why we're on a budget phone. We're talking about budget devices. The controller's not very budget. Oh, but yeah, this is just a standard battery. We all have what I like about this one. The reason I keep this around so much is I like this grip. Can you guys hear that? You may have noticed, I think I've talked about that, what, two or three times so far in this video. I like having things that are grippy because I have a bit of a clumsiness problem and I drop stuff more often than necessary. Maybe it's why I put it in my Twitter bios, but this has grip on it, so it's like hard to drop. Big fan. This next one's gonna be a little different, but it is, yes, this is a Bluetooth mouse. Now, if you saw the editing video I did on the iPhone SE, with iOS 13.4, you get both mouse and keyboard support that you can connect to your phone, turning it into a travel little computer. And the keyboard didn't fit in the package, but here's the keyboard. This is my magic keyboard that I used in that video, and I use this a lot for traveling, unless I have my iPad, which I use that magic keyboard for. But I highly recommend both a Bluetooth mouse and a Bluetooth keyboard. You don't have to spend that much. I'll leave a cheaper one linked in the description below. But a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard give you so much functionality out of this phone. It's crazy to think that you need a mouse with a phone. And this is the first time I've had a phone that I've considered to be like a travel computer. So, so long as you have the dongle for HDMI, you can plug this into a monitor, you have a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse, and you are set to go with a travel computer. Easily do an email, video, photo editing. Mm. This thing doesn't cost very much, but it gives you a whole lot of functionality in the phone. Very exciting stuff. What else do we have in here? So we'll do, there's just a couple things left. If you're always traveling like me and you have lots of devices that need charged, I like having a multiple, so this plugs into the wall, but it has lots of, this is just a hub. It lets you plug in four USB devices. Yes, it is USB-A. They do have USB-C ones out there, but again, if it works, why upgrade? Save some money. 
dad tips. <laughs> so I really like this one because it does, it charges things very fast. It doesn't take up much space. I already have it. And I always carry about four devices. If you consider the phone, the iPad, the controller, and then the battery, charging the battery. Those are generally the four devices that I always have and I always need to charge when I'm in a hotel or something like that. This works really well. My wife always tries to fight with me and get at least half of these, but I carried this. She doesn't get half. She probably. She doesn't get half because she gets three of them, right? I end up getting left with one. But it's a phone and I called it a camera, right? You could just hold it or you could bring something like a tripod and get better shots. And to do that, you're gonna need a phone holder. So this is just, this is actually the Joby one that came with one of the Gorilla Pods that I have. Um, but this thing, all it basically does, it holds your phone in place. So you can set it down if you're going to be doing a Skype call or something like that and you don't want your phone to fall over. But what it really gives you is a quarter inch mounting option on the bottom so you can screw this into all traditional tripods. So you can just very easily put this on just any old tray. Here, here's a tripod right here. When you have a YouTube studio, yes, you just have tripods laying all over the place. I seriously did not plan. Like, this was not here specifically for this video. I just have tripod. I have two other tripods just laying right over there. But with a device like this, you can very easily set your phone up so you can get panorama shots. You could get long exposure shots. You could get family shots. You get all sorts of shots. Look at that. Always carry one of these. You saw it took up like no space. Why not just carry one of these around so you get way more versatility out of your phone. Check that out. I love it. I love it. So yeah, those are my favorite accessories for the iPhone SE2. This phone, normally I have like a gear of the year video where I talk about camera stuff, but this is probably, it's going to take something significant to come out in the next few months to unseat this as my camera slash computer of the year, because I've been very impressed with this. But what are some of the accessories that you guys use? Leave comments below. I would love to know what everybody uses as an accessory for it. It doesn't necessarily have to be the iPhone SE. What are some really cool cell phone accessories that I haven't shown, but you think are critical? Leave them in the comments below. I gotta find more stuff to buy, right? And if you wanna use your phone to start your very own YouTube channel, something you'll find out is that YouTube controls your traffic. Do you know where they don't control your traffic? On your own website. And thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace, you can create your own very beautiful website. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a professional website, online store, or portfolio. It's easy to claim a domain slash URL, create a custom site that matches your style, and bring your ideas to life. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash everydaydad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thank you for watching.